Hello humans. There are roughly 10 trillion galaxies and 1 septillion stars in the observable universe. In our galaxy alone, there are 100 billion stars, and around 40 billion Earth-like planets that orbit them. Enrico Fermi estimated that there should be 10 quadrillion intelligent civilizations in the observable universe. Now consider the fact that the universe is 13.8 billion years old, and the fact that in the last 1000 years, humans got from eating dirt, to landing on the moon. So, shouldn't we be seeing all the skies filled with awesome space battles? Where are all the aliens? For me, the answer is pretty clear. They don't want to visit us. So here are some solutions to the Fermi Paradox. We've barely started to use radio communication in the last century. Compare that to the tens of thousands of years of the human existence. Maybe aliens do communicate, but not through radio wavelengths. Maybe they use lasers, neutrinos or complex compression algorithms that we don't understand in order to create something like a galactic internet, like a porn website with an age restriction, and an actual verification process. We have been listening for aliens for only a hundred years with technology that they might have abandoned million of years ago. Considering the amount of time other alien civilizations had to develop, some of them might have evolved so much that they control the whole galaxy, or even universe. They would have the same attitude towards us that we do for a swarm of ants. What's the point of wasting time trying to speak to them? As we have created national reserves, maybe we are part of a galactic national reserve, where we are allowed to develop without any outside interfering. Maybe Earth is not such a common planet after all. Maybe there is something special about this planet that allowed complex life to form and thrive on its surface. Perhaps life needs a planetary solar system with a gas giant like Jupiter far from the Sun, and rocky planets closer in. Maybe plate tectonics and volcanoes are necessary to create suitable atmosphere for life. Evolving life may need a large moon that causes tides, a specific temperature or a planet with a stable orbit. Or maybe intelligence is extremely rare when it comes to evolution. And no, I'm not saying humans are intelligent. If you were given the possibility of living your whole life in utopia, via virtual reality, would you take it? Just imagine, you can create your perfect world, anything you want. The only con is that it is not the real world, but who cares anyways? And now think that aliens realize in one moment, why the f do we need to colonize the universe, if we can live all of our life in our perfect virtual world? So they create an energy collector around their sun to power their virtual reality device, and that's how you end up not giving a f about the outside world. A really advanced alien civilization might reach a point in which they generate so much energy that they have so much computational power, enough to create a simulation of another universe. Now in that simulation, the simulated beings might reach a point in which they create another simulation, and so on. That would mean that the chances that our universe is the real one instead of the simulated one, is incredibly small. So maybe we are all inside a simulation in which aliens were not included. More on that another time. This argument states that for intelligent life to arise, it has to pass several barriers. Some of them are, a right star system, evolution of reproductive cells, like RNA, prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell evolution sexual reproduction, multi-cell life, to losing animals with big brains. And the most important is not getting obliterated in the process by some big asteroids, or supervolcanoes, or ice ages, or viruses, or nukes, 
or artificial intelligence. So maybe only a microscopically small fraction of all the alien civilizations actually pass all of these filters, and make it to colonizing other planets. Maybe humans haven't yet passed the last filter, and if that is the case, we're pretty f***ed. Or we might be the first civilization to actually pass all of the filters. But that would be pretty sad as well. And yet, only two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe, or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. Thank you for watching.